everyone, it's Lisa from My Dreaming Soap. Welcome to my channel. Now today I'm doing a Halloween soap and it's going to be a fiery theme. Now, I'm using some hmm, what will probably seem some quite unusual colours for this. And again, that's to do with the fact that I'm in the UK. So once I have an assessment for something, I can't change any of the colours or anything that I use in it. And I want to use Dragon's Blood in this. And when I planned my assessment, I did it so that I could use a range of all sorts of different colours that would work in different ways. And I've got another Halloween soap coming up. You may have seen it, or it may be up already, depending on when these videos get aired, where I've used Dragon's Blood and it's very much more of a purpley pink type soap. But this one I want to do like fiery themes. So I'm using... The colours that I've got, which are Purple Passion, Neon Pink, and Neon Yellow. The Neons are from Mike and Mama in the UK, and the Purple Passion is from You Make It Up. I'm also using some Titanium Dioxide and Activated Charcoal. Now, I want to have a fiery theme. So to make my fire, I'm going to have the base, sort of the main element of my soap is going to be black and then for my flames I want red, orange and yellow. So how I'm doing that, this is my special red blend and it's actually made with a combination of these three colours, neon pink and um, the purple passion, gives you like a really sort of darkish red and then the yellow goes in and tones it down a little bit to give us this red colour. I'm sure most of you have got reds that you can use. It's only that I'm in this weird situation with this. But certainly if you do have these sort of colours and you want some red, I would advise you to just muck around with your percentages and things and test them in some little samples of soap. Because remember, if your oils are a slightly different colour to mine, you'll need perhaps more or less yellow in it. So it's best for you to, if you want to do something like this and play around with colours and that sort of thing, um, just to try it out and do little samples. I'm sure most of you will go, oh, flippy neck, what's the point? I'll just use red. And you should do that if you can. Right, so there's my red. I'm, I'm ever so pleased with that. It took me a lot of testing to get to this red that works nicely in my soap so I'm really pleased with that and then the other thing I've done is I want to have some skulls going through my soap so I've done myself a skull embed now I haven't done this on the video because I'm sure you've seen me extruding things a lot of times so I've extruded myself a skull and I'm going to have a couple of those going through the um, the soap and then what I've done with the trimmings off the end of my embed, where I've trimmed them to get to the size of the mould, I've taken those and I've put them into slices and just sort of rounded off the edges. I have squished them a little bit just to make sure they're under two and a half centimetres fat so that they do fit on the top of my soaps. So I've got some little skulls there to go on the top of my soap. I'm going to do um, a type of hanger swirl. I'm just going to use the hanger to help me create a flame sort of effect. I'm not aiming for perfection of flames. I've got some flames sort of feeling and with my skulls in the soap. So that's what I'm going for. So I've got all of my oils all in one go. I'm not doing any layers or anything. And my lye solution. So let's get those mixed in together. And then as I said, just doing a simple hanger swirl with some embeds in. Okay, so I've just brought that soap up to an emulsion. It's nowhere near trace yet, but that's because I do want to just muck around and tweak these colours a little bit. So I'm just going to split off what I want. Now, I'm doing two thirds of my base. I'm going to keep that black. And then one third of the base, I'm going to split it off amongst the flame colours that I want. So I've got red, 
in my pot that's, that's supposed to be an r with r marked on it i've got more red in my pot marked with an o slightly less red and i'm going to put some yellow in there and then i've got my yellow somewhere i have my yellow hang on is my yellow and because it's a neon i've made sure i've really dispersed that well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use as much as that as i need to get the orange the correct color and then from that the rest of it will just go in to make my yellow and then as i said the main bit of the base will be activated charcoal so i'm just going to split these off and get the third divided between those three and then i'll be back Okay, so here are all my colours. Just going to get rid of that diddly little spatula. Okay, so there's my red and this is my orange so I'm just going to tweak that by adding bits of yellow in okay so those are my colors I'm pretty happy with those well let's face it I have to be happy because I can't add any more or anything to them I'm going to add just the tiniest of black just to darken this red down a little bit just to make it a little bit different more different to the orange okay so I think I'm now happy with those and then my black my activated charcoal just going to pop that straight into the rest of it and get those mixed in Okay, so there's all of our soap prepared. Okay, so I am going to add in my fragrance oil now. Now, I'm only going to put a little tiny bit in these colours just because it does this colour. The red and the orange should be okay. I'm not going to put any in the yellow. I've put this fragrance oil in neon yellow before. And it makes it go neon green okay so I'm just going to leave it out of the yellow but that's only a tiny little bit it's only one third one ninth of the whole batter that doesn't have any fragrance oil in. and this is a fragrance oil with a decent usage rate so it's not as if it's a restricted usage rate so having bits without fragrance will matter and also remember this is a swirl so this is all going to be mixed together anyway. Now I am going to let these get to a little bit of a thicker consistency. At least to some sort of trace and then I'll come back when they're ready. Okay, so I've got a good old trace on here. I'm actually not that far away from sort of getting onto a more medium trace and that's fine for a hanger swirl so the first thing I want to do bring in my mold and I'm putting in a pretty good base of the black and then some red because that would be typically the lower part of the flame and a bit more black and then more of that red I'm going to save the tiniest bit for the top and you always only need a really tiny bit for the top so you don't end up with too much and 
and then I want some of my orange. And then breaking through too much. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to do my hanger swirl, but I'm not actually going to swirl, I'm just going to go down and then up and then down and then up. So I'm sort of striping it. I've got no problem with sort of giving it a wiggle as it comes up, but what I do is I don't want, I don't really want to um, curl these bits round. I'm trying to get it more stripey, sort of like flames going up. Okay, so there's that, and I'm going to stop there for now because I want to put the first of my skulls in. It's going to make a mess, but we'll, don't, we'll cope with that later. Right, so let's get our first skull. There it is. <laughs> Pop that in. And I'm hoping, if anything, that that will sort of push the flame effect a little bit around the skull. It's nice and tight on the size of my mould, so I'm hoping that will keep it staying up. Right, so let's carry on. there we are with our skulls on fire <laughs> soap right into the oven see pop as normal um turn the oven on and it goes in and let that sit overnight and then we'll see how green it goes tomorrow so here's our skull soap the next day let's have a look at what it's like inside hopefully we've not got too much discoloration Okay. Ha, so there we are. So 
well, little skulls and sort of representative of a fire. As I said, I wasn't trying to get a complete fire look, but just the sort of colourings going in. <laughs> so there's our spooky skulls. Probably make a good <laughs> bloke soap, don't like to call it that, but dragon's blood flagrant soil and the dark colour of the soap and the skulls. Um, hopefully a good Halloween soap slash bloke soap. But let's face it, if you're a girl who likes skulls, then why not? And then I'll just leave you with one final photo of the soap. This soap was released in the October shop update, but has sold out already, unfortunately. But I do still have a few other soaps from that release available in the shop if you fancied grabbing yourself a bar. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what I'm doing in the future, then why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy soaping!